Welcome back. Earnings season continues and we are now putting the spotlight on yet another firm. Chennai Petro reported a strong set of numbers for the fourth quarter. Growth in net profit uh, uh, and a 12% rise in revenue for the quarter. Uh, let's discuss the company's financials and the business outlook going forward. We have with us Managing Director Arvind Kumar. Mr. Kumar, thank you very much for joining in. Uh, so, I mean, it's been a strong end, I guess, to what's been a pretty robust year for you, right? Even if I look at FI23 as a whole, your revenue is up 77%, your EBITDA is up 108%. Uh, first things first, let's talk about the outlook on refining margins. Uh, apparently, it seems that uh, the Singapore uh, margins have started coming off. They were at a high, but they're coming off now. What's the, the, the forecast as you look ahead? Good morning. Uh, see, the quarter four uh, GRM were quite good for CPCL and as a whole of the year also. And uh, we have got around uh, $12 uh, dollar per barrel, the GRM. And the April month uh, average, uh, you know, the GRM and the cracks were coming down around uh, MS crack, if you uh, talk about it, around $12. And uh, MS uh, crack also, ETF also a little bit down as compared to the quarter four. But uh, we are sure that this, these are the only signs and, uh, you know, the uh, Singapore benchmark is uh, having a different configuration as such. Uh, they are, uh, you know, the tint, uh, uh, tinted towards more on uh, the uh, gasoline and uh, CPCL per se is uh, making more diesel. So, uh, you know, the uh, apple to apple comparison cannot be done. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we are hopeful that we will be giving a good performance. But, but these levels of twelve and a half dollars uh, on GRMs that you've reported in the fourth quarter, do you see them sustaining? Uh, see, a uh, lot of things are there in GRM. Uh, you know, the cracks, when it is coming down, we have to uh, look more towards our fiscal performance and we have to optimize our feed levels. Wherever the opportunity crews are there, we have to take it. We have to, uh, you know, the focus on uh, fuel and loss. The, uh, you know, the earlier, 21-22, uh, the fuel and loss was 9.7% uh, for CPCL. We have brought it down to around 9%. And these, uh, and some of the focus on the valuable products as well. These are the factors which are, uh, you know, increasing the GRM trend. So, apart from the uh, cracks coming down, we have to focus on certain our own uh, physical performance to, you know, the match the overall GRMs. Okay. Uh, sir, you've planned a very large uh, expansion at the Kaveri Basin. I think your current capacity is 10.5. And uh, why JV with IOC? You're planning to expand your capacity by an additional uh, 9 million metric tons per annum, 9 MMTA. Uh, this is a very large expansion. Can you tell us when it comes on stream and how would the revenue accretion be? You see, this uh, Kaveri Basin refinery uh, uh, is coming in at Nagapatnam. And it is also having a petrochemical uh, of pet, uh, polypropylene. And it is coming uh, as a JV with the IOCL, our group company, and other state partners later on. And the, you have you are right to, uh, you know, stipulating that it is around 9 million tons. So uh, the project is on, and the CBRPL as a JV company has already been formed. And uh, we are in the advanced stage of, uh, you know, getting the land. 50% of the land of uh, CPCL as CPCL already had a small refinery at Nagapatnam, we already have. And additional lands, around 50%, we have already got. So, rest of the land, we are sure that around uh, in two, three months' time, we'll be getting it. So, uh, the refinery will be coming, CBRPL in a uh, JV form. Uh, Mr. Kumar, what is, your, uh, what is your share in this? This is a joint venture with Indian Oil. So, what is your share? Uh, it is 25% uh, equity from uh, CPCL, 25% per, uh, equity from uh, uh, IOCL, and 50% will be later, later stage with the strategic partners. Sir, in three months, uh, all the land that you require for the Kaveri Basin refinery would be completed, right? The acquisition, land acquisition will be yeah, completed correct. in the next three months. Yes. What next correct. in terms of the steps? That will be, uh, see, we have already gone in the tendering and procurement process. And uh, the, all the tenders are in the final stage of this uh, analysis. Uh, and then as soon as we get the land, we will uh, be, uh, and the CBRPL, uh, the all team is formed, which is in the process. We'll be going uh, towards releasing the work orders and the, uh, the work will start in a greater team. Still the work is going on, but uh, some of the, you know, the uh, startup work like uh, 
some of the testing and all those things, uh, boundary wall testing, uh, hmm. landfilling, all those things are going on. And uh, these uh, unit and offsite works will start as soon as we get the land and award it to the uh, strategic uh, vendors and contractors. Hmm. So, um, Mr. Kumar, just finally, uh, you know, leave us with your plans both on capital allocation as well as your borrowings. Uh, for the rest of this year, this is obviously one big project that you're executing. How much are you going to be spending on this? What's the total capex for this year, FY24? And earlier, I think you'd mentioned that you do want to uh, reduce your debt levels. So, if a uh, little bit of an update over there. How much are you reducing? What's the debt equity right now? Where would you want to see it over FY24? See, CPCL per se was having a, a huge borrowings around two years before. It was uh, hovering around 9,000 to 10,000 crores. And with the uh, good performance, good fiscal performance, and the financial leverage making our fundamentals strong, we have uh, put the borrowings now at the around uh, 4,000 crores with the debt to equity ratio around 0.67. And uh, the, our equity portion at the, uh, the major project of uh, CBR, that is uh, around 2,500 crores. And uh, we'll be uh, this capex, last year capex was around uh, 638 crores. We have uh, achieved it. And this year we are planning around 550 crores. Out of that, around 350 crores will be putting uh, towards the JV. And uh, in three years' time, we uh, we have already spent uh, around uh, 800 crores in the JV as a CPCL. So that will be fair enough. And uh, we'll be putting around 300, 400, or 500 crores per annum towards the uh, J, uh, JV portion of the project to meet the cap. Okay, we leave it to that. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for joining in. That's uh, Chennai Petro for you. The stock is a bit subdued in trade, down 3%, though the numbers are pretty strong. Uh, $12.5 uh, in terms of, $12 in terms of GRMs.